One is the complete monitoring and analytics tool for the Veeam platform. With Veeam One, you can monitor your Veeam environment with alarms and real-time visibility, report changes and trends with dashboards and utilization heat maps, automate fixes for common backup and infrastructure problems. This video will demonstrate how to install Veeam One on a Windows server. Let's hop into the lab and get started. Let's start the Veeam One version 12 installation. As you can see here, there are some standalone components we can install. We can install one Veeam One server. We can install the Veeam One client, which can be installed locally or remotely. You can install the Veeam One client on a remote machine to connect the Veeam One server. You also have a link to video tutorials and documentation, including the user guide. In this scenario, we are going to install the Veeam One server. Once we click Install, we will be brought to the License Agreement page. Be sure to review the license agreements and click Accept once done. As you can see, there are several license agreements that you need to review. Once you click Accept, you'll be brought to Deployment Scenarios. You can do an all-in-one deployment, which means all components are going to be installed on a single server, preferable for small or medium-scale deployments. Or you can do a custom deployment. This allows you to separate client and server roles and install product architecture components on different machines. This is recommended for large-scale deployments. If you're unsure, be sure to check the link to the deployment information. Next, we're going to do a system configuration check. This will let you know if your computer meets the minimum requirements. If not, the installation process will install them for you and enable any missing features that are required. As you can see here, we are missing quite a few components for our installation. So I'm going to quickly press install and get those installed. Now you can see that we've passed all our configuration check. Once done, we're next gonna choose our installation path. By default, this will be chosen for you. Next, we're going to choose our service account. You will need to select a SQL Server instance to create the Veeam1 database on. Veeam1 can be installed on a new instance, or you can use an existing instance of SQL Server. In this scenario, we are going to install a new instance of SQL Server on our Veeam 1 server. Next, you're going to want to attach your license file. If you don't have a license file, you can use Community Edition of Veeam 1. This is going to be limited in features. Since we have a license available to us, we're going to attach the license file and continue on. Next, we're going to do our connection configuration. All you need to do is specify ports and select a certificate. Next, we're going to select our performance cache. Then we're going to select our data collection mode. There are three different data collection modes you can select from. Veeam backup data only, Veeam backup data and virtual infrastructure performance monitoring, and Veeam backup data and large scale virtual infrastructure performance monitoring. If you need to know a little bit more about which data collection mode you can use, all you need to do is select the link at the end of this page. Next, let's click Install and get it started. Great, now we have finished our installation of Veeam 1 version 12. Before we get started with Veeam 1 version 12, we're going to have to log out of the server and re-log in. Once we have re-logged in to the server, you can open the Veeam 1 console and start adding your servers to monitor them. Thank you for watching our video on how to install Veeam 1. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos for more help.